The owner of Deep Draft Brewing knew Steve Amina Schultz for nearly a decade and now is honoring them the way she knows best with a new brew. We call it clickage, you know, and it starts uh, bubbling away. Linda Seymour processing a new brew with a special meaning. The name of the beer is called uh, Yujo, and that in Japanese means friendship or fellowship. A word to perfectly describe Steve and Mina Schultz and honor their impact on the Peninsula Brewing community. They were just so generous and so um, just fun and kind. They never uh, they didn't have a bad thing to say about anybody. The brewing community at a loss after the couple were found murdered at their Olala home last week. It was such a shock and I mean we did to do we did a festival the very next day and I just I, we just we just can't get our arms around it. Steve Amina suspected killer Sean Rose appeared in front of a judge Tuesday pleading not guilty to two charges of first degree murder. New details in court documents reveal Rose lived in an RV nearby with his girlfriend. And investigators believe he got into the home through the couple's bedroom. Deputies found their bodies in a garbage can on the property. The evidence pointing to Rose, including bloody clothes found at the RV. The couple's ID and credit cards were found in a stolen car linked to Rose. Prosecutors speaking for the couple's daughter, asking for no bail. She can't be here this afternoon because she's making arrangements with the funeral home to bury her parents. And she wanted to express to the court that she does not want Mr. Rose released. The judge agreed. And back at Deep Draft Brewing, Seymour is hoping to keep the Schultz's memory alive. She tragically lost her husband years ago. Another brewery made a beer in his honor. She remembers the comfort each glass brings and hopes to do the same for those who know and love the Schultz's. There's a lot of love and, you know, in beer. The new beer in memory of Steve Amina will be available around Thanksgiving. In Bremerton, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.